Normally if you want to animate a texture in Blender, you just keyframe the mapping node. But the issue with this is that it doesn't work with the GLTF format, which is widely used for VR and web tools. As you can see, when I import the file, the animation is gone. So is there another way to do it that works? Well, yes. I will show you a way in which you can have the texture on two planes side by side and move the mesh, not the texture. Let's squash the mesh into the size of the original plane. So first add a plane, go to edit mode, enable correct face attributes, duplicate the plane and move it on the x-axis by minus 2. Add a geometry nodes modifier. Now add subdivide mesh and choose the number that you like. Add a transform geometry, set position, and now for the easy part. Add a position node, separate XYZ, add a compare node greater than, then duplicate it and make it less than, add two value nodes, set the first one to 0 and the second one to 2. Connect the first one to greater than and the second one to the less than. Connect the greater than to a multiply and multiply it with the less than. Now add a mix node and duplicate it. Connect the greater than and less than nodes to the factor for each mix node. And now connect the values to the A socket. Duplicate the multiply node and connect the two mix nodes to it. Now add a combine XYZ. Connect the second multiply node to the X. Then from the separate XYZ, connect the Y to the Y and the Z to the, Z to the combine XYZ. And now add a mix color node. Plug in the first multiply node to the factor. The combine XYZ to the A and the original position to the B and connect the mix color to the position and the set position node. The movement of the plane is controlled by this transform node. Go back to edit mode and move everything on the x-axis by 1. And now add a keyframe to the transform geometry node at the start of the animation. Then go to the end of the animation, change the x value to 2 and add another keyframe. There is still some flickering to fix it. Don't forget to disable clamp factor from the mix nodes. And change the B value of the mix node to 1. And now it works seamlessly. I will just add a material and there it is. You can use this with looping image textures to create looping animations. Or you can make it longer and adjust the numbers and make it like a window of a train or something. So why can't you just use booleans? Because booleans delete vertices. And when vertices get deleted, you can't export it to GLTF as shape keys animation. So it will not work for GLTF if you use booleans.